Yes, it's truly a pleasure to be present. Yeah, I know. Thank you so much. I haven't seen you yet. Don't be scared now. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I was so scared. You know what it's going to look like? I love it. I am too. Do, do, do I make a speech now? <laughs> you know what I was thinking of when I was kind of amazed at what you think about? I was thinking about when Gregory and I first came here. It was 1955. Mm. We were in the girl in pink tights, and my mother came with us and had, I think, a party or something. I can't remember what it was. It was a function. Uh, um, Zizi Jamais, the great French ballerina, was a star of it, and she had been to America to see this, and we were, we were in here, and my mother looked at all these pictures, and she said, one day, my sons, my, my sons are gonna be on that wall. <laughs> and when Gregory got on there, he said, Maurice, you're gonna be on here with me, and when you told me I was gonna be next to Gregory and facing him, my mother, God rest her soul, she said, I, the one thing I wanted, I wanted my sons, well, no matter what happens in their life, to eventually come back together and be together again. And that's what's going to happen when my mother and mother right. I love and respect are here. You know, and, I, and I always say this, uh, Mel Johnson, who knows me 100 years, the original Andre the Shields is here. I don't know, is, 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 uh, did Julie Bud come? Yeah. Yes. Where, where are you, Julie? I'm here. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> These are great artists, great artists that, that I respect and that I'm so happy to be a part of them. And every time I see them, when I see Andre on the stage, I learn something. When I see Julie, I learn something. If I see Michelle Lee, uh, I don't know if Michelle's here, but I, when, I, when I work with these people and see them work, I learn, I keep constantly learning from the greats, and they are the greats. They got nothing to do with no fame, it has to do with talent, talent. And that's what I'm about, and that's what my mother stressed on Grey Green Eye. Don't worry about all that stuff, the, all that the entertainment and that, all that stuff. Be talent. Learn your craft. Do your job. Do your eight shows a week. They're not interested in whether you're, not, you're happy or not. You, the audience. <laughs> the, audience <laughs> the audience is there. Because without them, they could be somewhere else. So without them, you might as well be in a rehearsal studio. So give them everything you got. So I want to thank everybody for coming. I love you all. I'm thrilled that this is happening. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. From 1955 to now, and it happened like my mother said it would. God bless her. God bless her. Mother, well, I got it. I did it. Oh, well, Hi, this is Susanna Bowling in the Times Square Beat, and we're at Sardi's for the unveiling of the Maurice Hines portrait. And we are with the wonderful Andre de Shields. Andre, yes. Maurice's show is all about his past and what doing theater and tap dancing was like. Lead us through your history. My history? It's very different from Maurice's, although it's almost as long. But I'm a, ball, I'm a boy from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm a young man who's had no other conscious thought than to be an entertainer. And I get that from my mom and my dad. So whenever I'm singing, I'm using my father's voice. Whenever I'm dancing, I'm using my mother's feet. So I'm the, I'm the uh, manifestation of their deferred dreams. And I am a fan of Heinz, Heinz, and Dad, which was the trio that featured those two little brothers, Gregory Hines and Maurice Hines, not knowing that one day I would be a good friend of Maurice's. So he's been an inspiration for me for a long time. And one of the unique elements of the show that he's doing, yes, it is a journey through his life and his career. But he introduces young tappers in the show to let you know that is, is the responsibility of the artist not only to beat his own breast, but to open the door and leave opportunities for those who are following in his wake. I feel as if I'm one of those people because he set so many precedents, he changed so many of the rules, and now I'm here to 
enjoy it with him and tell him what an inspiration he's been for me. I hope I'm doing the same thing for folks who are coming behind me. What are you doing now? I'm now freshly back from Chicago, where it's colder than it is in New York. So New Yorkers, don't complain about how cold it is. It's the new Jerry Mitchell musical. It's based on a documentary about a group of senior citizens who dance hip hop during halftime basketball games. So, this is God. I heard Maurice Hines mention Julie Budd in his speech, and we are with Julie Budd. Hi. So, you have a show coming up. Tell us about it. Yes, I do. I'm going to be in Vegas April 15 and April 16 at the Smith Center for the Performing Arts. And then I'm going to be uh, back here in New York on May 3rd. And what is your show about? It's well, the one that I'm bringing to New York is called The Seasons of Love. And it's all the different kind of love in your life. What has brought you to where you are right now because of love? And that will be at the Metropolitan Room on May 3rd. And then on April 15 and April 16 at the Smith Center, that'll be remembering Mr. Sinatra because I worked with Mr. Sinatra in Las Vegas and I met him there. So I thought, how could I not bring the show to Las Vegas? We're here today for Maurice Hines. And you know what? I couldn't be happier for him. And I couldn't be more thrilled that he is now forever on the walls of Sardis. And all eyes on you, Kate. 